Welcome everyone. My name is Alessandro Mirichilli and I'm the program director for the Master of Science in Management. Uh, uh, so today we will uh, present, you know, the structure of the course, you know, the team and uh, possibly then later in the chat to address all your questions about, uh, about the program. Uh, management is, uh, is the largest uh, uh, Master of Science at Bocconi. So we have five classes. Uh, and, uh, and those five classes are three in uh, Italian and uh, two in English. For this reason, uh, we tend to use uh, English as the official language of the course uh, since a number of years. Uh, I'm director since 2016, uh, and formerly I've been uh, assistant to the former director, so I have uh, uh, quite a long ex experience in, uh, on management, and I know uh, quite well the program. Uh, as you will see in this, in this chart, so this is the theme of, uh, of the course, so this is myself, uh, then I have uh, the program assistant, Professor Quarato, and uh, the administrative staff, Paolo Rotelli. Uh, also, a uh, very important uh, uh, figure, so we have a uh, director of the double degree with a SEC, that is a specific program, as we'll see later, Professor Ariela Cadio. Uh, she will be available together with me in, uh, in the chat for discussion. Uh, point number one, so why management? So this is a very important question. I think, and uh, and we have uh, we tend to have a very straight answer. Let me start saying that management is a science. Okay, so there are different opinions, of course, based on uh, on the past in which management was considered more an applied field, uh, based on practice, uh, which is true. Okay, so management is based on practice, uh, but now we have a, a also worldwide in uh, in research. So we have a a specific branch of the science that is called management science. So we combine rigor with relevance. We combine with rigor uh, with you know the focused empirical setting, as we say. So we use you know the empirical setting of corporations uh, in order to create, develop, test, and uh, and disseminate useful managerial tools. So I think that as management students, you will acquire an in-depth knowledge of the key corporate functions and the key corporate processes. This is very important because in our experience, uh, management students are quite prepared to take managerial roles, uh, I will say since the beginning of their career. In which functions? Every function. So this is one of the specificities of management. So we uh, cover different functional areas and our students, they are trained also from the day one since the graduation to support central functions, uh, even uh, uh, to support you know, key directors uh, or even the CEO in smaller corporations. So I think this is quite, quite distinctive uh, and, uh, and, uh, and this is one of the uh, positive and qualifying po points of, uh, of our course. But we have also another couple of reasons why management um, is, in our view, uh, a peculiar course in our, uh, in our general offer. Uh, the most important that I care a lot about is that we tend you know, to develop in our students uh, problem-solving skills more than in other courses. Uh, the nature of the program, so the fact that, as you will see later, we have uh, a number of topics that are, again, you know, touching the different corporate functions in a very concrete manner requires our students and all together, also together with my colleagues and with myself and with all the, the faculty to work together, like in, in regular corporations. So to work in teams, uh, to develop projects that are increasingly and increasingly important. Uh, we uh, tend to have in all the, uh, our courses, I would say in all courses, uh, uh, a quite significant portion of the course uh, grade, final grade, uh, dedicated to the, to the project. Uh, so we have workshop, we have business cases, uh, but in, at the end, you know, they are all collapsed in the final uh, work uh, project that every course has. I think this is an important point of management because even, even though I know this is quite intense in terms of commitment to so our students, uh, since the very beginning of the course, they spend a lot, of, a lot of time together working um, on the projects, uh, uh, not only staying in class and uh, attending lectures, but working after class uh, together on projects. Uh, so it's very intense, it's uh, time consuming, it's uh, emotionally intense, 
But we do believe, and I do believe this is the, the most important, one of the most important features of management, because our students, they develop problem-solving abilities uh, uh, quite strongly. The second uh, uh, and final distinguishing point is why management is important, or another point why management is important is that uh, management for its uniqueness is, let's say, general uh, in terms of the possibilities that it offers in the job market. This is at the same time, if you want a positive uh, point, but also a point of attention. We know that our students are concerned about, you know, what is uh, the, the specific function that they can cover uh, when they graduate in management, or put in another way, is management sufficiently specialistic? My answer is yes, if you take into account that within the program, as you will see later, you will have a number of possibilities to specialize in one sector, one industry, one type of companies, or another. So the difference is that compared to other courses, management is not specific in advance. So we are not specializing in advance our students. So we are giving some freedom, especially in the first year, or let me say in the first semester, because the first semester is the real common semester to everyone, as you will see later. And then, you know, every student follow a different, slightly different path, uh, including, you know, uh, uh, whatever is connected to the internship, uh, the thesis, uh, uh, experience abroad and uh, so the profile of each and, and of course the major so the profile of each student will be slightly different from the pro profile of others uh, what's the, the the result and the possibility that it gives uh, is what you read in the slides so the possibility that our students successfully are successfully employed in companies of different sizes so from very small family owned companies we do have for example a major in uh, in uh, uh, SMEs, so small and medium enterprises and family firms uh, focused on growth strategy and, uh, and, and private equity uh, initiatives for those firms to very large corporations, so traditional corporations, global corporations uh, or uh, Italian-based multinational companies in different industries, again, as you will see later, from, uh, let's say, the traditional um, uh, manufacturing service, uh, including finance. So it's very broad spectrum, but don't be scared, you know, during the program, you will see exactly all the different paths that bring you in a very specialized way from the beginning to the end of this journey. So I think this is, uh, in a nutshell, the reason why management uh, uh, is uh, one is an appropriate choice uh, or is a choice that uh, uh, has some uh, specific features in our offer of the Mass of Science. What about the teaching model now? So the teaching model uh, is, is uh, probably common in several, several features uh, uh, to other uh, Bocconi programs, uh, but let me stress you know, what's different in management. Let me start from the high level specialist content. So uh, I want to underline once, once more that we do rely uh, on our faculty abilities uh, in terms of developing their own knowledge. So we tend to rely on Bocconi self-made knowledge or our own research, our own uh, expertise, uh, uh, very specialized. So we don't, we tend to use as much as we can, you know, uh, uh, content that we develop uh, uh, in this university and in a number of cases together with students of our masters. So it's not infrequent that, for example, we have master of science thesis that develop in publications, in, uh, in reports uh, or several students uh, uh, former students that work together with us, you know, in, uh, in projects that we do in university. So I think that high level specialistic content is one important feature of management. Another important feature is active participation. Active partic participation means uh, that, you know, for what I said before, so for our model that is based on, um, on group projects, uh, we do really need, you know, students uh, uh, that engage in class and outside class in our in our um, programs uh, and especially in the field activities like you know the group project this is very important this is important because it develops critical learning and critical thinking again uh, i think what is uh, really important today is not necessarily uh, to acquire which is also important of course but to acquire a set of tools or uh, a certain knowledge uh, because of course we are today in a world where knowledge information is quite 
is quite available. But the problem is that we need to uh, carefully check you know, the quality and the reliability of this information. So that's the reason why we tend to leverage on our own contact developed uh, by our own professors and also to analyze critically this information. This is the really distinguishing uh, ability, the critical thinking and the critical ability to analyze this information. Of course, we do apply content, is what I said in the beginning. So this is an applied course in the sense that uh, we uh, rely on, uh, on, a, on empirical field, on real corporations. We have business cases, we have in-company uh, projects. So we work with the uh, companies and uh, we do care a lot about this. Soft skills, uh, you know, the problem solving skills, as I said, is one of the distinguishing features of management. And finally, to make everything possible, all this complex, let's say, learning process, we do need progressive study. So this is not a mass of science where, you know, you sit in the day one, uh, you look at the syllabus, you collect materials, and then, you know, you go back uh, the day of the exam. This is not the case. Uh, of course, we do have the possibility for non-attending students, but only for students that really have uh, problems in attending and uh, do something else in their life to have, uh, to give the exam as non-attending, but we strongly encourage attendance as a qualifying port, uh, part of our course. So progressive study is, uh, is very important uh, and uh, I always encourage my colleagues uh, to use more and more progressive evaluation during the course. So not only the final grade, but a certain percentage of uh, the grade, which is sometimes more than half, uh, given to all the activities that uh, uh, students do uh, during the course and not at the end of the course. What do we expect from you? Um, I think that in order to uh, make all these um, uh, uh, ambitious uh, learning process possible, we need a number of contributions from both sides. So we need a, a strong agreement between the faculty and the students. Uh, from you, uh, we expect, of course, hard work. Uh, this is a precondition, I would say. Participation, uh, this is probably less obvious. Proactivity, uh, again, very, very important uh, because, you know, in-class and uh, out-class activities are based on students' participation. Responsibility, because a lot of uh, planning, uh, a lot of care is up to students. And then a set of rules that make a sense of a community. So punctuality, respect of rules, uh, and also make friends. So we really want, you know, this to be a community. And in fact, we have, you know, the management alumni community, for instance, uh, respecting each, each other. This is the only way through which we can develop our uh, learning journey together, because otherwise, you know, we get back to a traditional model in which you only study uh, material and content, which is not what we want. What you can expect from us, here it's more difficult, but we do our best effort, you know, to deliver uh, the best that we can in terms of international network, uh, in terms of faculty, so we tend to uh, recruit the best faculty for our programs, uh, um, employer network, uh, uh, you know that we have a very active uh, um, placement office and the figures that I will show later, I think, speak for themselves in terms of uh, placement uh, that we are able to secure to our students. Uh, intellectual and personal development with a number of activities that go beyond, you know, the normal uh, um, uh, academic activities. Uh, of course, our alumni, including the chapter of uh, management uh, for our students, which is also very active and engaged. And then, you know, all the facilities that are around our campus. First, you know, the city. We do believe that Milan, as uh, many of you know, but probably others uh, know less, is, um, is a vibrant city, uh, small enough, you know, to secure a, a, an enjoyable experience in terms of uh, students' life. But also we have our campus, which now has been also developed uh, with the new uh, business schools, Dabocconi School of Management Urban Campus, which is uh, the largest uh, downtown campus in Europe and also includes a number of facilities uh, in terms of sports and gym with, uh, for example, an Olympic gym inside, which is uh, really a jewel. So we do have, uh, we, do, we do offer to our students a full uh, 360 degrees experience uh, that of course requires a, an equal commitment uh, from, from your side. Uh, let's go now to the program, because I think, of course, you know, the program is the core of, um, of, uh, of uh, your choice, and uh, it's very important to understand the structure of the program, the different possibilities, uh, 
and, uh, and make a, a, a choice which is uh, absolutely in line with your expectations. First of all, uh, let me be clear on one point. Management has a number of, uh, uh, has number of different paths, as I already said before. So you have a number of choices in front of you when you enroll to management. The first one is before you enroll to management, because management is indeed different uh, from the uh, admission itself, from the admission stage itself, from the uh, double degree that we have uh, with ESSEC. They are, let's say, twin uh, programs, uh, but they are different since you know, uh, the admission stage. And in fact, uh, we do have a specific director, so uh, my colleague, uh, Professor Ariela Caglio, that she will be available for all questions uh, and to, uh, to address all the points uh, relative to the admission to this particular program, uh, the ambitions, the different criteria, and so on and so forth. So point number one, management and uh, ESSEC, uh, Bocconi double degree are two different programs. As you will see from the chart, uh, they are different also in terms of structure because uh, the ESSEC Bocconi double degree is based on uh, four different semesters in four different locations uh, in the two uh, in the first and the second year. So you have uh, uh, Milan, Singapore, so Bocconi ESSEC, and then again Sda Bocconi in Mumbai, and then again ESSEC in France. So you have these four locations, which of course require also a, an important uh, personal commitment and strong motivation, but we do believe it's uh, it's quite a unique program. Uh, of course, you know, the, in terms of uh, uh, pro, in terms of um, topics, in terms of content, it's quite similar to management. Uh, later, we have a detail of the different courses, uh, with the difference that you know, let me say the regular uh, management course, which is the, the large portion of you, uh, is based on a first year at Bocconi for everyone, and then a second year that can be either at Bocconi, so if you decide to stay at Bocconi, or can be at Bocconi plus an exchange program, or can be uh, entirely uh, uh, attended in a double degree partner university for, for the entire second year. The double degree is another qualifying point of our offer, as you will see also in, the, in, the next, uh, in one of the next slides. Just to give you some more details, uh, but again, uh, uh, that will be specific uh, um, program uh, separate from management. Uh, the idea that you know the four semesters, uh, you will see that the four semesters are uh, they are quite similar to to the general management program that you will see later, but they have a number of courses uh, that tend to uh, replicate the management program. But the difference is that they are in four different campuses. Of course, in the second year, like it happens also for management students, also the double degree ESSEC Bocconi students, they have a lot of flexibility in, in the sense that they have uh, mostly electives uh, in, their, in their curricula. Uh, at at, at uh, Bocconi, the Bocconi as a center in Mumbai, and also at, uh, at ESSEC. Uh, let me go back now to the double degree that I said before is a qualifying point of the management Master of Science beyond uh, the double degree with a SEC that again is a specific program. If you look at this chart, uh, uh, and if you consider, in this case, there are the 14, uh, the 14 top ranked school uh, from the Financial Times as Master in Management in 2020, you see that uh, we do have uh, double degrees uh, uh, if we take a, a SEC. Uh, aside for the reason that I said before, with most of this school, we have a double degree with St. Gallen, with HSC Paris, with uh, Rotterdam Erasmus, with uh, uh, Vienna University of Economics, and uh, as other business school. So we have a portfolio of uh, uh, partnerships that cover the most important school in the top 10, top 15 uh, uh, master in management in the FT, in the FT ranking. Now, if you go specifically into the program, so the program, uh, and now I'm talking about uh, the management program. Again, uh, the double degree with a sec now is a little bit aside, and uh, for specific questions, uh, uh, my colleague, uh, Professor Caglio, will be available for you. Uh, what about, you know, the management program structure? The management program structure, again, is modular, and, um, and I think this is, uh, the, the, the important characteristic of management since the beginning. So you have different uh, different choices along the path. So the only real common semester is the first semester. So if you look on the, on the top part of the chart, you see that uh, we have uh, 
five exams that are principal business analytics, economic prospects, performance measurement, human resource management, and marketing management advanced. They are the only five exams that every uh, management student has in common with all the others. And of course, here we touch upon some of the basics, but also some of the most advanced, for example, principle of business analytics is an important course because it's, uh, it gives tools also uh, that serve also the other courses like marketing, for example, like performance measure measurement, but also human resource management. And then we have a course about economic prospects because we know, especially, uh, I think it's especially visible during uh, uh, the recent crisis, but what was very visible also because the, before that, uh, uh, the uh, economic, the macroeconomic situation, uh, the geopolitical considerations are becoming extremely important uh, also for managers, or I would say uh, predominantly for managers. So this is our first semester. And then we have some uh, skills, uh, uh, soft skills seminar uh, that develop you know, negotiation skills uh, uh, that are quite appreciated by our, our students. And then we have the second semester. In the second semester, you have uh, the first important choice. So uh, either to stay in uh, what we call the management curriculum or to move in the curriculum in uh, human resource management, which is totally in Italian, uh, but is very specific uh, because, you know, it's a completely different set of exams uh, that you can see from the chart. Uh, from the chart, they are dedicated uh, to human resource management uh, also in terms of uh, uh, resource, uh, human resource labor and the like. If you look at uh, the common management program, we have corporate strategy, a business game, uh, company and business law uh, advanced, business history, and financial management and corporate banking. So we do complete you know, what we started in the first semester in terms of the foundations, the functional foundations, plus you know, the corporate strategy course, which is a sort of uh, overview on the corporate decision making uh, of different types of organizations, predominant, predominantly large corporations, but also uh, smaller companies that will be further developed in, uh, in majors later uh, in, the, in the course. And then we move you know, to the second year. As I said before, you know, the second year is even more modular. Here you have uh, the choice of the elective that I will uh, uh, go briefly into details in a while. Uh, then you, know, you have the internship. Uh, then you have the foreign languages, uh, of course, they are increasingly important. Uh, and you have your thesis project uh, that in a number of cases is connected with the internship uh, or can be uh, in an increasing number of cases also a research project. So we have a quite modular uh, approach in the second year. As I always say to my students, uh, the second year is, is very entrepreneurial. So you need to be entrepreneurial yourself. So there are no uh, common or standard rules, so we have a lot of flexibility, but also a lot of autonomy and responsibility under your shoulders. So you need to be aware of all the different uh, choices that you're making in terms of the final outcome uh, that your entire curriculum will develop and it will also show to the market. Uh, in this path, we tend to have a lot of counseling uh, uh, from ourselves, so from the direction of the program, but also our career office, which is always uh, available, you know, to show you what are the concrete possibilities of placement in the market. Let me, of course, in this chart, you will see repeated and extended uh, all the double degrees uh, opportunities uh, that you have uh, in management. And of course, we have a long list of exchange programs uh, uh, that you, know, you will find you know, later in all, in all details, but we have more than 200 agreements worldwide, so it's impossible to condense in a slide. Let me just spend a minute uh, uh, talking about our electives uh, in terms of content, because our electives are another qualifying part of management. As I said before, you know, the management students go through a journey uh, during which the student decides what will be his peculiar learning path, and also in terms of outcome that he or she wants to achieve. So if you look at the, at the majors, at the six majors that we have, here we have you know, the first set of three majors, Green Management, Sustainability, Organizational Change and Consulting, Fashion, Luxury, Made in Italy. Uh, of course, I will not uh, repeat now the entire list of exams, nor I will uh, detail and discuss. We spend some sessions during the year to explain also with uh, students, uh, former students, alumni, to explain what are the concrete possibilities, for example, for people 
that attain the ma majoring in green management sustainability. But let me just to give the sense of these majors. So if you read, you know, the exams, you will find some uh, exams that are in blue and some exams that are in uh, in uh, dark in um, um, in uh, black. And uh, the idea is that uh, you need to choose at least one exam from the blue list, which is typically very short list of exams because we want to make sure that you have at least uh, some common exam. And then you, you need to choose another two from you know the extended list, including also the, the other exams. So you have a, a quite ra a range of options, plus one free elective, completely free on the entire Bocconi portfolio. So you have a quite good range of options. Uh, but at the same time, you have some guidance. So I think this is the spirit of the major and also the spirit of the second year of uh, management, as I said before. Let me complete this uh, overview talking about the other three majors. Uh, one is completely new, so the major is sport management. In this case, you know, we launched this major a couple of years ago. Now it is uh, gaining a lot of attention also uh from from the market uh, this is the only major where you know the three exams in blue are mandatory because we want to have a very strong uh, a very strong profile for our first uh, students that uh, attend this major and then we have two more like, traditional major one is entrepreneurship smes and growth strategy and the other one is a classic major in finance which still is one together with consulting one of, uh, of the most uh, requested and appreciated uh, uh, majors that we have in our in our portfolio. Now, why you know again another another reason to complete why management in terms of uh, facts and figures uh, from uh, from placement. So at the end of this journey, of course, we want you to be um, prepared in terms of uh, the content that you decided to specialize on, but we also want you to uh, position the market successfully as satisfactory for you and for 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 your employers and uh, i think that these figures uh, give a very neat uh, representation of uh, of our uh, situation and the work that we do together from the um, university side but also from the student side uh, we have a uh, close to 95 percent of uh, graduates employed at the day of uh, uh, sorry one year after graduation which i think is a, an extraordinarily important figure but we also have 73%, uh, uh, which I think is even more extraordinary figure of uh, our students, our graduates that are employed at the day of graduation, which I think, again, is an extraordinary result. We have 5.5 5 average number of job interviews, so it's not uh, a, a, a mandatory choice, but uh, th there are good options and 2.3 uh, average number of uh, job offers that our students received. Of course, these numbers, as I said in the beginning, they speak for themselves, so they give a very neat idea of uh, the kind of job that we make, uh, also in terms of uh, specializing in the different tracks, in the different majors, in the different funnels, our management students. And this is, you know, uh, the, the, the picture, the result of, uh, of uh, this work that we do together. So our typical placement for management is quite heterogeneous, let me say, which is our strength. Uh, it's not a weakness, but it's indeed a strength because we, have, we do have flexibility, at least in the beginning, up to a certain point, it's important that students get awareness about what they want to make in their life. But you see that, you know, we have uh, basically 65 uh, percent 60 percent of our students that work either in industry or consulting and if we include you know finance and insurance company we are 70 percent uh, the rest of 30 percent is uh, 10 percent of trade then we have service including auditing firms uh, transportation communication a small uh, uh, minority in educational research and uh, 3.2 in other industries including uh, you know uh, different professions so it's a quite heterogeneous, uh, and uh, we do believe it's a, it's a, again it's a strength of our program. Uh, it's not a weakness, uh, but uh, it's it's very important to see that they strongly reflect the path that our students um, and the choice they make in terms of major. Our employers, uh, in a nutshell, or in a, in a, in a, in a chart here, we put our top employers, and I think they are quite identifiable so it's uh, it's not important not, it's not there is no point to comment you know the quality and the visibility of uh, of these employers 
let me just reinforce the idea that we do have these employees along with an another set of other employers that include also uh, small companies, um, uh, family companies, because one of the majors, as I remember before, for example, um, a growth uh, SMEs and family business strategies basically dedicated to a number of students that eventually have a possibility to work in their own company or a company that they already own. So we also have people employed uh, satisfactorily, again, with a lot of uh, uh, mutual satisfaction in, uh, in smaller corporations, but we do have also uh, a very uh, large portfolio of uh, traditional top employees. Management is not only uh, is not only about study, uh, but we tend to make uh, and we hope to make more and more in the future when the conditions will permit also uh, company visits, uh, uh, theory and practice and fun combined, we say it. So, for example, we had a social entrepreneurship course, uh, Dynamo Camp, uh, company visits again, uh, business game with companies and uh, uh, to this point, we always encourage our student representatives uh, to be proactive and uh, to promote initiatives, uh, to propose you know, to the direction of the program, and we always welcome, uh, uh, with a lot of excitement, every new proposal. And we also offer, let me say, of course, here yeah, we have just a, a couple of examples of uh, a very long list of seminar series, workshops, uh, and meetings, uh, conversations, uh, so different types of series with top executives. Uh, at the point that uh, it's uh, difficult to attend all of, all of them for our students. So we have a very, very articulated offer, but we are 100% sure that every management student has the possibility to see, you know, one of the champions, one of the uh, uh, rule makers uh, that they have in their own life, career, in their uh, academic uh, and professional development. So I think this is, um, everything from uh, my side. Again, um, I will be more than happy to address all the possible questions. Uh, I hope I gave you an overview of uh, management, also the spirit of the course, which I think uh, is probably the most important thing. Uh, I hope to see many of you uh, online, uh, talking with you, addressing your emails, but mostly to see many of you on campus next year. Bye-bye.